I'm going to be teaching you how you can win the buy box in Amazon. This is a formula that comes straight from our in-house experts and it has worked every single time on our clients. So I'm sharing this formula with you and I'm also going to be talking about what happens or what to do when you lose your Amazon buy box. So this is essentially a perfect guide for you. I'm going to say something right now. Today's video is going to be extra exciting. And if you're wondering why we are going to be talking about one of the most important aspects of your Amazon journey, that is winning a buy box. It is going to be a very detailed guide, a very exciting guide indeed. We are going to take a deep dive into what you need to win the Amazon buy box and everything that comes with it. So without further ado, let's dive right in. And if you find this video helpful, make sure to like and subscribe to our channel so you do not miss out on all content Amazon so let's begin so imagine this you are shopping on Amazon the moment you land on Amazon product listing of your choice you're presented with a lot of important information on the left you can check out the product images and video in the middle the products title number of ratings variants and a few bullet point descriptions however there's the interesting part have you noticed that the prominently displayed buy box and add to cart buttons are on the right side of the product listing? Well, that's the Amazon buy box. This little button lets one lucky seller stand out from others. If you're wondering how, whenever a customer clicks on any of these buttons, they're buying from the particular seller. So let me explain. Basically, there are two types of sellers on Amazon. First, Amazon itself and third party sellers. For the majority of items, there will be number of buying options for the buyer. When a buyer selects add to cart or buy now, the seller has to buy the buy box at the moment in time, gets that all important sales conversion. Ultimately, the buy box helps shoppers make their purchase quicker and easier in just two, three steps that ensures low friction sale on Amazon. As a seller, you need to ensure that you're at the end of the sales conversion funnel. So now that I've spoken about what Amazon Buy Box is, we are going to be talking about why Amazon Buy Box is important for you. So as I've mentioned before, it makes this shopping experience really easy for the shoppers and most of the shoppers will purchase via Buy Box without even looking at any other products or listing. Also, did you know that 80% of the purchases are made via Buy Box? This is a huge number of percentage and you should not be missing out on that. We've also seen a huge increase in app purchases via mobiles and of course with Alexa on the rise we can only expect buy box to be more important for you so make sure that you're focusing on that. So if you're still not convinced that you need an Amazon buy box well here are two more facts that will probably convince you. The first one is it's a guaranteed formula that is going to help you boost up your sales and second and perhaps the most important one is that you cannot run Amazon advertising or PPC ads on your product listing if you do not own a buy box. So this is really important because if without Amazon PPC ads, you will have no visibility on Amazon at all. So yeah, keep that in mind if you are um, just a new seller starting your journey that Amazon buy box is perhaps one of the most important parts of starting your Amazon journey. So if you are looking for strategies that are related to Amazon advertising, or PPC related strategies there is a card up on the screen right now click on the video and the playlist and you will be redirected to our wondrous world of Amazon advertising guides and strategies check the description box below for important PDFs that you can find to download as well so now you must be wondering are you eligible to open the buy box so I'm going to be talking about three boxes and if you check all of them that means you are eligible so the first one is ensure that you have a professional account if you have an individual account that means you are not eligible for the buy box having a professional account will set you back approximately $40 a month but I think it's worth the investment by the amount of sales you're going to be making Two, make sure you have a healthy seller account which means that you need to focus on these three things the first one, you need to ensure that you have a good customer service. Second, you need to make sure that your product is following Amazon product guidelines. Third, you need to make sure that you're shipping your products on time. If you do not ship your products on time, it can definitely affect your account's health. So if you are focusing on these three things, you have a good chance of winning the buy box. 
three make sure that you're selling new products so buy box are only eligible for new products so make sure you're selling a product which is brand new and is not a uh, refurbished so make sure that you focus on that so that's it these are the only three criteria that you need to be looking at uh, to win a buy box and now we're going to be talking about how you can win a buy box myths that you should not believe and uh, all other things so let's move on so if you want to know if your individual product listings qualify for a buy box, there is a simple process that you can follow which involves you logging into your Seller Central account. So I'm going to show you a quick process and then we'll move on forward with the video. In Seller Central, go to Inventory, then click on Manage Inventory. On your product listing, you will see two columns, Buy Box Price and Buy Box Eligible. It will show you whether your products are eligible for a buy box or not. It will also show you your current buy box prices for each item. So before we move on to how you can win a buy box on Amazon, I think it's really important for me to tell you some very common myths that are out there and many sellers believe when it comes to winning a buy box on Amazon. So the following things that I'm going to tell you are very popular myths out there and you should not be believing them. So let's look into it. First, price is the only factor that determines if you're going to win the buy box, which is false. So price, of course, is one of the factors that Amazon's algorithm looks into while uh, assigning a buy box to your product listing. However, price is not the only factor that Amazon looks into while giving you the buy box. Competitive pricing on Amazon is obviously very essential and you should be looking into this, but do not believe that price is one and the only factor. Two, Amazon does not share its buy box, which is obviously false. Of course, we have seen Amazon's um, own products winning the buy box in certain categories, but third party sellers can also win a share of the buy box in the same category. So make sure that you're not listening to this myth. Three, you can keep the buy box to yourself, which is false again. Of course, when Amazon assigns you a buy box, there is no guarantee that you are going to be keeping it forever. It is very competitive on the platform and there's no guarantee that the buy box is going to stick with you. So keep that in mind. And now finally, I'm going to be teaching you how you can win the buy box in Amazon. This is a formula that comes straight from our in-house experts and it has worked every single time on our clients so i'm sharing this formula with you and i'm also going to be talking about what happens or what to do when you lose your amazon buy box so this is essentially a perfect guide for you your chances of winning a buy box on Amazon depends on if Amazon thinks that you have enough inventory to fulfill orders that are going to be coming your way. If you cannot keep up with the demand, Amazon is going to take a notice of it and your chances of winning a buy box is going to take a hit. So always keep a track of how much inventory you have and regularly keep checking your inventory reports. Always keep checking the demand that your product is having on Amazon as well. This will help you stay on the top of your game. Second, we choose to be Amazon fulfilled or FBA fulfilled. That means that sellers who are Amazon fulfilled have an advantage of winning the buy box. For starters, if you are FBA fulfilled, that means Amazon will be taking care of your packaging, shipping and returns. And you will also be qualified for Prime. That means your orders will be delivered extra fast. However, do not think that FBM sellers are not qualified for winning a buy box. We have seen some FBM sellers winning the buy box as well, but choosing FBA gives you a fairer advantage. Third is fast delivery to your customers. This is actually something that I've seen most of the sellers miss out on. With the current trends that Amazon has set up, Amazon expects their orders to be delivered really fast to the customers. If you're not FBA fulfilled and if you are FBM and are looking to win the buy box, make sure your products are delivered extra fast and on time. This will ensure that you have a good amount or like a good chance of winning the buy box. Remember, your account health and shipping are closely related, so make sure that you're shipping your products on time. And of course, if you are FBA fulfilled, this is something that you don't need to worry about. And this is why I focus on being fulfilled by Amazon. So next comes Amazon seller rating. Amazon has a scale of one to 10 that is assigned to each seller. And that's called a rating that is given to each seller. There are multiple factors that can influence um, this rating. First being your response time to customer queries, the defect rates, A to Z claims, your return rate, shipping, and so much more. 
This is where customer feedback also plays an important role. So make sure that you have a good amount of customer feedback on your product listing and make sure that your defect rate is under 1%. If your defect rate is over 1% and your customers are returning your orders based on defects, you will be penalized by Amazon. And of course, that is going to take a huge hit on your account health. So the another thing that you need to keep in your mind is that Amazon monitors your customer's response time. That means how quickly or slowly are you responding to your customer queries if you have a good speed or if you have a really fast method of replying to customer queries you are having a good account health and of course you will win the buy box but also remember that if your response time is really slow amazon is going to take a notice of it and your account health or your account rating is going to decrease drastically so next is product pricing. Every customer loves competitive prices and so does Amazon. Amazon's goal has now become to offer exceptional goods at a lower price. So of course, you need to understand that the algorithm also favors uh, products which have a lower price or a reasonable price, but do not go overboard. And let me explain this better. First, Make sure that you are not going in a loss while setting up your price range just because you want to win a buy box. We have seen this happen in the past. Make sure that you're not doing that. As I've mentioned before in the video, pricing is not the only factor that determines if you're going to win the buy box or not. We have spoken about many other factors as well. And in our experience, we have seen the product which was priced higher uh, to win the buy box on Amazon as well. So make sure the other parts of your uh, journey or the parts that I mentioned before are fulfilled. So keep these five strategies in mind and with great seller metrics and of course competitive pricing strategies, you are ensured to win a buy box on Amazon. We recently have seen even new sellers compete for buy box on Amazon. So if you're following the strategies that are mentioned, you can be one of them. Knowing what to do when you lose a buy box is equally important than knowing how you can win a buy box on Amazon. So buy boxes actually change a lot of hands and are shifted to from product to product um, very frequently. So the first thing that you obviously need to do is monitor it. But I'm going to be talking about strategies that are going to help you win back your buy box. So this is what you do when you lose your buy box. First, if you are out of stock, make sure you have excess inventory stored somewhere or a new shipment is on its way. We've seen a lot of customers lose the buy box because they have gone out of stock and did not have backup inventory stored somewhere. So make sure that you have backup inventory and if you do not have backup inventory, make sure that the new shipment is on its way. So second is plan for seasonal fluctuations. Seasonal fluctuations are common on Amazon. So you might have seen that you say Sales are really high towards Q4, quarter four, where Cyber Monday takes place. It's the holiday season and you have Black Friday there as well. So this is where you have the most amount of chances to run out of inventory. So make sure that you are ready for season fluctuations because losing your buy box during the high selling or peak selling times of the year is no fun. Third is reprise. So most of the sellers when they lose the buy box is they reprise their products. And of course, this is a valid strategy and a good strategy, but make sure that you are in tune with your profit margins. You do not want, you know, your repricing strategies to cut into your profit margins, even if you want to win the buy box. So this is a very important note. Fourth is coupons and promotions. We have seen a lot of sellers run coupons or short term promotions uh, on their products in order for them to win back the buy box. And last but not the least, take action immediately. You do not want to wait too long to get back your buy box because it does affect your sales quite a bit. And this is why you need to be monitoring your buy box. But do not worry. SellerApp has a tool to help you out with that. Check out SellerApp's buy box alert tool and that is going to help you make sure that your buy box is specifically on your product listing and no one else's. Click the link in the bio or the card that pops on the screen right now to check out our tool. Unfortunately, there is no one trick that you can use to beat the Amazon buy box. However, there are several metrics to be looked upon and improved upon. Amazon does give a lot of control to third party sellers in this case, and you should definitely be taking full advantage of it. That's it for today's video, everyone. Thank you so much for watching. If you had fun, make sure to click on the like button and the subscribe button to join our ever growing seller app community. If you have any more video suggestions or if you have any questions, feel free to 
you comment down below and we are always listening and replying to your messages and yeah thank you so much for being here until the next time i see you happy selling